Hello everybody, my name is Ja Red, and welcome to The Long Dark. Now this is one of my favorite survival games. It's simple, but it really makes it feel like you're surviving in a harsh environment. You have to contend with things like hunger, thirst, and just surviving in the cold. Um, I first played this when it was in early access on Steam um, a while ago. It is long. It has since then um, had many updates. It's gone full release. Um, and it even has a story mode, which I've never done before, which is what we're going to be exploring today. So, here we go. Winter Mute. It's the episodic story mode for the long dark. New game. Episode 1, Do Not Go Gentle. Mackenzie and Dr. Greenwood are separated after their plane crashes deep in the northern Canadian wilderness. Struggling to survive, Mackenzie explores the small town of Milton, where he begins to understand the scope of this quiet apocalypse. Uh, let's see. We'll just... I like to go right in the middle most of the time, just because... I don't want to die over and over and over and over and over again, which I'll probably do anyways, because this is not exactly the easiest of games. Um, let's go with my name. What a wolf. Wolves are bastards in this game. I do remember that. They're really scary, and you don't always have the means to fend them off. And remember, I've never done the story mode before, um, so I really don't know what to expect. Ooh. It's so beautiful, but it's so painful. Yes? That's me. Yes. My heartbeat. I mean, I'm alive. I will do my best. It just looks cold. Looks beautiful, though. It's, the thing about this game is, it doesn't look realistic in the sense that, you know, some games look realistic. Um, let's rip this bad boy out. How do I do that? Interact. Ah! Oh dear. No! Wow. I can't feel good. Um, it's a very stylized game, um, on purpose, and I think it, it just does the genre justice, in my opinion. So it's beautiful in its, in its own artistic way. Chapter 1, Survival of the Fittest. Alright, well here we are. This is the long dark. Let's, uh, let's see what the heck we got going on here. Burning debris... stick. I'll take it. Because we're going to need to start a fire at some point because, like I said, that's one of the things you have to majorly contend with is not freezing to death. And there, as you can see at the, uh, the bottom of the screen is like a little thermometer with some arrows going down, which means I'm freezing to death. Not great. And I don't want to get too close to these fires because even, I mean, you would think cold and fire are good, but most of the time when you get too close to any kind of fire that isn't contained, actually, it, it, uh, it might actually be helping a little bit because the arrows went away. But what I'm trying to say is that a lot of times if you get too close to the fire, you will actually catch yourself on fire and on top of freezing to death, starving to death, and and anything else that's killing you, you know, burns is not something you want to add to the list. So let's just not get too close to that fire. Ooh, first aid kit. Search this. 
Got the bandage, nice. Antibiotics, very good, which we might do. Let's see if I can remember. Aha! First aid. Here, let's make this here. First aid. And bandage. Blood loss, plane crash, injuries, right arm. Let's bandage that bad boy up. Boom! Healed blood loss. All right. So, what do we have here in this cave besides bones? This looks like the den of some predator, which we probably shouldn't hang out here for too long then. Alright. So, we probably should start a fire, actually. So, maybe this isn't a bad. This, I mean, if the. Predator doesn't come back, um, this would make a great little shelter. Um, then again, if he does come back, he'll just eat us, so, oh well. Campfire, fire. Oh, there we go. We'll place you there. All right, we have our starter, wood matches. Tender, we'll use newsprint in our fuel. We've got sticks or cider firewood. We'll just go ahead and do the cider, fire, cider cedar firewood. Um, it lasts a bit longer than sticks. So, we have no accelerant, so let's just go ahead and start this fire. And... We'll get this fire going here and... Come on. Takes an excessive amount of time, because, I mean, who wants to watch some tool start a fire? That's all I have in here. Oh, damn. Oh, man, I better... Pass out standing up. Day two. Survival. Thirsty. thirsty. Okay. So we're thirsty. And we need to find water. The next uh, survival attribute that we have to worry about thirst. Okay. Oh. Is that my blood? I think that's my blood. I bleed my own blood. Cardboard box. Oh. I have a scrap metal shard. I was not aware of that. Cool. Well, let's just break this down for the hell of it. Might behoove us to look into our survival pack and see what we actually have. Ah, here we are. So here's our funny looking little um, survivor and all the different um, layers of clothing that you can apply. Two for the torso outer, two for torso inner, hands, same thing for legs, two layers of socks, boots. Um, let's see what we have in our inventory. We got all the stuff we picked up. Scrap metal shard. Oh, that's the one we pulled from our, our freaking hand, I'm guessing. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, that's smart of him to use the metal shard that was in his freaking hand as a tool. I don't think a lot of people would think that. Birch bark. Take it. Oh. Probably good for starting a fire. Uh, well, we need to look at finding some water. Let's see what's over here. Ah. Indeed. Search this metal container. MRE. Military grade. Alright. Well, that'll come in handy. More matches. Very nice. Uh, we can only break down the crate. Nothing's in it. Plastic container. Let's see what's in here. End up being useful. Antiseptic. More matches. There's blood all over the place. <laughs> I wonder if it was ours or if that's just like because there was other people and this is a crash site. Rose hips. You don't need these yet. Well, I'll, I'll be the judge of that. Thank you very much. Probably shouldn't be eating unknown wild berries anyways. Gosh, we are moving so slowly. Oh, because we're starving now. Let's... Let us get some food from the MRE. Um, 
Um, do we have a can? We do. We have a recycled can. Okay. Well, then we could probably uh, make some water with our campfire. So let's gather up some more fire starting stuff. And uh, let's get us a fire going. Alright. Same old, same old. Let's go ahead and start that fire. We'll be right back. Okay, then, well, we got our fire started finally. So, let's go ahead and figure out how the heck we make water. Exactly sure. We shall maybe perhaps use the can. Ah, uh, aha! Uh -huh. Oh, well, that's see, that's new. That wasn't like that before. The last time that I played this game, you just activated the fire and you melted snow. So let's go ahead and do that. Aha! Uh -huh. Melt snow. Let us make point five zero liters water that may make you ill well we gotta start somewhere do I have to wait oh boy this might take a minute um, I won't make you I won't make you guys watch this so I'll be right back Okay, well, our uh, our snow is now melted into non-potable water. And now we're going to go ahead and continue to boil said water so that we can actually drink it and not, uh, not die from some sort of bacteria or parasite. So, once again, we'll be right back. Okay, well, now we've got our boiled potable water. Um, we're not going to let it... Uh, boil until it's dry we're gonna go ahead and take this bad boy and we're gonna drink the shit out of it <sighs> oh. oh yes my my infected hand um, let's go ahead and just start some more snow melting we might as well and let's see what we can do about this hand of ours um, we've got antiseptic. We should probably use that on our plane crash injuries. <laughs> oh. So oh. I need to rest up. Time to sleep. Dun dun dun. Day three. Doing so good so far. I mean, three days and we're still alive. So I'm guessing we need to buy, uh, gather a shit ton of wood. Um, oh, how nice. How are we doing water-wise? Let's just go ahead and drink this before it freezes again. Now we are good on water. Do we have any more in the way of food? We have no more food, so we're screwed on the food. So let's just uh, brave the... The stormy elements. This is the, what I'm talking about right here. This is uh, this is the survival in the cold part of this game. I mean, you just get these storms that come upon you out of nowhere, and the wind chill is would probably kill you. So let, we better get some wood here. Let's let's not dilly dally. Break this down. Getting colder. I know. I don't know how much we need. So I think the, like the reclaimed wood is a little bit better than like the the sticks. Oh, I'm totally not for burning books, but if I'm in a situation where I need to survive, I'll burn anything. So we don't have to do anything to those; they are ready to go. I think we've got to be close to having enough stuff to burn here. 
Oh, hungry. That was my stomach. I thought it was a wolf. <laughs> so you can tell how paranoid I am because of the wolves. I mean, they are fucking bastards. All right, let's. Is that something? No, it's not. Well, I don't see where we're supposed to get food. Um, let's go ahead and get this fire started, though, for the time being. Matches. Birch bark for tinder. We'll go ahead and use our cedar firewood to start for now. I'll hold off on uh, burning any books for the time being. And we'll be right back after I get this fire started. Okay, well, we got our fire going. That's a good sign. Let's go ahead and add some more fuel to this fire. We want it to last for as long as we possibly can. See, up here you've got the duration. Well, that's all of our fuel uh, that I have for now. That's given us seven hours duration for this fire. I don't think that's enough to last the night, so let's not walk into the fire let's let's actually get some more uh, water going just because why not it doesn't use up any of our resources and let's go find some more stuff to burn break this down break that down oh boy it's getting dark Oh boy, so dark and scary. We'll go ahead and oh. So I think we get to actually keep that water on us, which is kind of nice because we can just go ahead and start cooking some more water. Let's add the rest of this to the fuel. Which really didn't give us much, considering how long it took us to gather all of that. Chase. Back out into the storm. Let's see. Cardboard box. I don't think we need any of those. I wish we could find some more of the reclaimed... Ah, maybe... Here we go. We can... Break this down. And maybe we're just supposed to keep collecting throughout the night. I'm not sure. Like I said, I've never done this before. I've never done the story mode at all. Oh, oh that would have been nice. That would have been handy. Do I need these yet? I still don't need those. So we're pretty much starving. I think we need those berries. Alright, let's go add this to the fire. I don't think it's in going to be going out anytime soon, but let's just keep feeding it. Fire looks good. There we go. Now, let's warm up before I freeze today. I have created fire! I didn't hear what he said. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> uh, let's see. Get your body temperature up. Oh, so just get warm. Okay. We can do that. That's easy. Let's go ahead and drink this. Just because. Go ahead and start making some more. Mind. So tired. Going to sleep again. This guy sleeps a lot. Dun dun. Day four. Thought that storm would never end. Mm. I need to find some food. Yeah, we're starving. Okay. How are we doing on over here? We got three hours on the fire. Let's go ahead and start making some more. Uh, some more water. And okay, crows. 
Your ears are your best survival tool. Pay attention to your surroundings and you might glean information that's important for your survival. For example, a murder, a murder of crows circling up ahead might suggest an animal carcass or even a human corpse might be nearby. Shall we resort to cannibalism? Probably not. Probably just search their pockets for gum or corn nuts or something. Well, all right, so let's see. We need to find ah, a murder of crows. Hey, the rest of the plane. Cool. I wonder if we get to go up there. Uh, but first of all, let us find where these murder of crows is circling. All right. Uh, let's just go ahead and continue to pick up these because they don't require any time to get them. So we can just pick them up along the way. It was a hell of a storm last night. Blew that tree clean over. Oh, yeah. Damn, son. Click, collect all the sticks and the cedar firewood that we can. Just because you never know when you have to make a fire real quick. Alright. Guess we're supposed to go up this tree. Seems rather obvious now, doesn't it? Oh. Deer carcass and gear. Gear, deer, deer, and gear. Let's see what's in this. Can I see what's. Can I open it? Surely there's something in their views. Oh well, let's just see. Astrid's hard case. Story mode activated. Oh, it needs a combination. Do I know it? Blocked. I don't know it. Of course I don't know it. Oh. Oh, look at this. Playing solitaire. Jackrabbit remote transport. Mackenzie speaking. I've got rosy cheeks. It's okay, Morgan. I've got a premiere. Uh, uh. Hello, Will. More rosy cheeks. They must be related. The hard case. What brings you? I mean, oh. no, no, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor. Yes, I'm still a doctor. <laughs> I thought that after. Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of a Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and... Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? <laughs> Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? The <laughs> fuck? Will, I didn't come here to fight but the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Well, that's good. Someone who Let's fight about the future. Someone I can trust. Wait, questions. Astrid. Questions that need answering. Are you going to help me or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? Oh, What's that. No questions. Look. The weather out there is Look at this invisible ball in my hand. But it's getting worse. <laughs> you walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? 
I'll do it. Yes. Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I, I feel do. Like you. Are you gonna take I know some things. The longer I wait, the worse. It I drink and I know things. Damn it. I don't have to See? This. Caribou. The worst Bourbon. He drinks. Why do I have a and he knows things. About the weather? Because I'm not. Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre flight. We're gonna get out of here, buckle kid. Up tight, buckle up, up buttercup. All right, guys, that's all the time we have for this video. Hope you guys are having a good time. If you are, hit that like button. Tell me about it in the comments below. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links are in the description. Let me know what other games you'd like to see me play. And if you haven't already, share this video and hit that subscribe button. And on that note, you've been awesome. Let's play again soon. See you in the next video.